I think the thing that to understand is that we're going to have a very different world and it's going to happen very quickly for the following reason. The systems will get so good that you and I, everyone in this audience and everyone in the world through their phone or what have you, will have access to a essentially a poly, polymath, as in the historic polymaths of old. So imagine if you had Aristotle to consult with you on logic and you had Oppenheimer to consult with you on physics and not the person, but rather the knowledge and that kind of scaling intelligence, these sort of truly brilliant people who were historically incredibly rare, their, their equivalents would become generally available. In the shorter term, so that's the long-term answer is what are we gonna do when super intelligence is broadly available to everyone? And obviously there's evil people and they'll use it in evil ways, but I'm gonna bet that the good people will route out evil. That's historically been true in human society. The thing I would emphasize for this audience is that something is about to change that I don't think people have clocked yet, which is people tend to think of AI as language to language, and we're going to move from language to action. Spe specifically and technically, it means that your text language, your text will be essentially computed into a program that can be then used. So in your case, you're doing a, a conference, start at all the potential conference me members, call them up, figure out if they're going to come, lock them in, figure out who are the most important ones and do the seating chart, right? And do it all by program, right? That's something that humans do all day, right? In what you do and many of them, you do many things, but that with one, that will become automatic just by a verbal command. Somebody else will say, you know, I really like to see a competitor to Google. So build a search engine, sort the ranking, but do it using my algorithm, not the one that Google is, which I don't like. And the system will do the same thing. So you're gonna see this explosion in digital power on a per person basis. And no one's quite said it this way. Maybe you're, you're very good at marketing. Maybe you can come up with a name for this. It's an abundance of intelligence, but it's also in your format, it's abundant of action. Yeah, through digital it's, it's, it's in intentional AI. Yeah, making things happen. Um, and, and this is gonna, everything is gonna become I think we're we're heading towards like you know, the trillion sensor economy where everything is knowable. Your AI can then take actions based upon the information out there uh, and execute through robotics and and such. You've been very active uh, in guiding national leaders on security, uh, and that's been a really important uh, work at this at this stage in your life. Uh, and I want to hit on three of these. We have such a short period of time, so let me let me mention the three and then weave them as you as you would. The first is AI and U.S. national security. Uh, the second is AI and competitiveness with China, and the third is the impact of AI on the upcoming U.S. elections, which many people have said could be patient zero in a lot of concerns. So how do you think about these three things? How should we think about them? So I'm a part of a group that has looked very carefully at the real dangers of the current LLMs, and they're scary. The conclusion of our group, which is roughly 20 people who are sci basically scientists, is we think we're okay now and we're worried about the future. And the, the point at which you really want to get worried is called recursive self-improvement. So recursive self-improvement means go learn everything, start now, and don't stop until you know everything. Um, and this could allow, this recursive self-improvement could eventually allow self-invocation of things. And imagine a, self, a, a recursive self-improvement system which gets access to weapons. So you can imagine, and we're doing things in biology that we cannot currently un, uh, understand. So there is a threshold. Now, my standard joke about that is that when that thing starts learning on its own, do you know what we're going to do? We're going to unplug it because you can't have these, you can't have these things ran, running randomly around, if you will, in the information space and not understanding at all what they're doing. Another threshold point is when two different agentic systems, agents as a computer science point, are today defined as LLMs with state. So in other words, not only do they know how to go from input to output, but they can also, they know what they did in the past and they can make judgments based on that. So they accumulate knowledge. So there's a scenario where your agent and my agent learn how to speak to each other and they start and they stop talking in English and they start talking in a language that they have invented, 
What do we do in that case? Unplug the things. 